Hey there VCHHD students, my name is Andy, I'm a VC Health and Human Development teacher. In this short video we're going to look at answering questions related to sustainability in Unit 4, Area Study 1. Before we dive into this video, I just wanted to make you aware that just recently uh, tickets have become available for three HHG exam revision lectures that I'll be presenting this year for the organisation ACE. So these will be presented in the lead up to the end of your exam and they can be useful to get information on key exam strategies and advice and coverage of the key content and skills in HHD. And so you can see there the three dates and times that are available and currently the early bird booking period is available for these sessions so you can save over 30 percent on the price of a ticket by combining health with a range of the other subjects that are also available through aced so if you head to the link there book.acedvc.com you'll see the other subjects available and there's more information and you can also book a place okay so when thinking about sustainability in unit four you might be aware that sustainability refers to meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs so really we're talking about thinking about not only now but also into the future and so we don't necessarily want people now to have to forego resources and access to services but we don't want to use up all of these resources etc so that they're then not available for people in future generations and so there's three different dimensions of sustainability so you should know these three different dimensions that are listed here economic social and environmental and no examples of each of them because over the past few years in the exam you've been asked about specific dimensions and asked to be um, asked to provide examples as part of answering questions related to sustainability so make sure that you know you know at least four or five examples but obviously the more examples you know the more flexibility you'll have in answering a question and so this is an example of a question that was on a recent past exam and so it asks you to explain the importance of environmental sustainability in promoting two dimensions of health and well-being globally and to refer to a different example of environmental sustainability in each part of the answer so you can see there it's worth four marks and so what you would need to do is you need to give an example of environmental sustainability and then link that to a dimension of health and well-being okay so physical social etc and then make sure you're referencing that term worldwide or globally as part of your answer and so you can see down here I've mentioned that ideally when you're answering a question about sustainability you'll include phrases such as into the future or on an ongoing basis because that demonstrates to your teacher or the exam marker that you understand the examples that you're giving okay are referencing that sustainability meeting the present needs but also the future needs of people and so here are a couple of examples of what I mean by that so you might talk about at the start of an answer like this one if you're referring to an example of environmental sustainability that having access to clean water on an ongoing ongoing basis or access to sustainable sources of energy like solar power now and into the future or food sources that are used in a ways that they're available now and into the future so you're just showing that you understand when talking about these examples that you're talking about them being used in sustainable ways so then obviously for a question like this you would link your example into a dimension of health and well-being and reference it okay for groups of people worldwide or globally to address that aspect of the question also you can see here was another question from a past paper that asked you to identify two aspects of social sustainability and outline the role of each in reducing maternal mortality ratio in low and middle income countries so once again four marks so two marks for each aspect and your link into reducing the maternal mortality ratio and you can see here from the exam report from this particular year they gave you some different examples of social sustainability and so the same as what i was mentioning on that previous slide you be practicing in your notes how to reference these in a way that demonstrates okay that they're sustainable so access to an ongoing okay education or access to healthcare on an ongoing basis so practice putting that um, into action to practice answering questions like this okay hopefully you found that useful reminder the health resources hub is on youtube and if you're on youtube at the moment you can subscribe to the button in the bottom corner of the video there there's over 170 videos available on our youtube channel and new videos are coming out each week during the term there's our website where there's opportunities for teachers and students and you can sign up to our free student newsletter or three sac and exam resources and that's just gone out recently if you sign up there you'll get a copy of the most recent version as well as our social media links and our email if you'd like to get in touch thanks so much